Anchorage was a new city, the fire department used horse-drawn fire trucks. Eric Salve updates us on a project involving the Anchorage Fire Department's first motorized vehicle. They're waiting to either be worked on or warm storage. Rogers Stores is a retired Anchorage Fire Department mechanic. 35 years. Some days you can still find him hanging out at Old Fire Station 3. I used to come once or twice a week. Volunteering. Down here is the front axle and the rear axle. Working. Over here. On a labor of love. It was the first motorized apparatus in uh, Anchorage. Apparatus means over here. 1921 American LaFrance pumper truck. The city bought it from the Alaska Railroad in 1922. In this space is entire fire truck. Right now, it requires some imagination to see. And this is your exhaust valve. But it's here. This is the uh, hose bed and the front fenders. And over there. This is the engine. And up here. This is the carburetor for the truck. There are some challenges to working on a 100-year-old fire truck. And it's very hard to get parts for this. And it's expensive. 12 valve guides, 12 plugs, and a couple other minor little things was $30,000. And, and you could carry them in a box. The restoration started five years ago. I was supposed to have it running by uh, 2021. COVID hit and the project stalled. The funding fell far. The truck is the centerpiece for the Alaska Fire Service Museum Association, a small nonprofit museum at Fire Station 1 downtown. The idea is to eventually get our own building and other fire departments around the state donate stuff. Stores is ready to get the project back on the road, but right now, his volunteer pool is small. Uh, right now, me. <laughs> he hopes to find others who are interested in building a brand new 100-year-old fire truck. You see it in about a 100-square-foot area, but it all goes together and it makes a beautiful fire truck. You, you cannot believe how pretty this truck will be when it's back together. Eric Soul, Alaska's news source. The Alaska Fire Service Museum Association plans on using the truck in parades and other public events.